comes in Final Fantasy XI, we're in a constant state of balance flux, with every patch, update, expansion, totally changing who was in the lead and who was falling behind. Part of that was all in the fun. I mean, it was kind of cool to see the update that totally made your job amazing, and then the next update that it nerfed it to, to all hell. But specifically, for many years, Summoner struggled to find its own identity, especially in the leveling space. It often fell to the role of support healer when there was literally nothing else available that could help heal. People weren't sure they were confident in its ability to do damage consistently. They weren't sure of it as a support role. So it just kind of, it fell into that little healing spot. And not all of that was completely unjustified. I remember when blood packs weren't split out by support and damage. And it was basically like once every 55 seconds or so you'd get to throw out one blood pack, hope it's a good one, and then wait another minute or so. One blood pack every 55 seconds isn't exactly the, the game-changing damage or support that most parties would hope to get, you know, during the leveling experience. I mean, bards are throwing out buffs every 15 seconds, and DDs kind of continue to, to stab away for free. They're not costing MP as they're doing it. Now, over time, numerous updates, blood packs, skill chaining and doing magic bursts, enhanced gear options, and overall just that general strength curve as we approached 119 have turned the 2020 summoner into the powerhouse that it always deserved to be. But there were some rough times that like I was leveling through summoner, I was like, I don't know if my job is very good, but I just love it so much. But it kind of got me thinking, what if summoners could summon food as well as avatars? So hear me out, and let's lay some ground rules just for this imaginary theory I've concocted. Food can be traded within your party, but not outside of it. Food cannot be sold, and food would disappear after a certain amount of time if it wasn't used. So you can't just like stockpile a ton of, ton of food. You have to summon it at the time to give to the party members. And as we jump into this, don't forget, if you've got your own thoughts and theories that you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below, or join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. We stream live every week, and I, I love talking about this goofy stuff, so definitely, definitely come say hi. But I mean, look, it's weird in the context of Final Fantasy XI, but this idea isn't crazy. Other games have done it countless other games. I mean, World of Warcraft mages could summon food and water. It was like a core foundational thing of their, their that class. And I know a lot of the, the crafters out there, the cooking crafters especially, are, are sitting here like, no, <laughs> I don't want any part of that. But this isn't going to ruin the economy. If the food disappears, if you can't sell it, it's only when summoners are in the party that this becomes a big deal. And I mean, maybe this would skyrocket summoners' popularity, but ultimately there aren't that many summoners right now. I guess that's not really true. In, in 2020, we see a lot of summoners. Summoners can do some crazy stuff. But anyways, moving on. There's obviously two main ways that you can approach this like kind of theory crafting conversation. A, yes, summoners can summon food, but it's only existing food, food that we know and love, food that can already be crafted in the game today. Or B, yes, summoners can summon food, but it can go even further, further beyond. So let's start with regular food. Uh, this isn't game breaking in my opinion. Look, you're not giving anybody anything that they couldn't already get before. Everybody could enter a party, have already bought some food, use that food, and it's the situation we're describing. The only difference is summoners show up and they're like, hey, 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 don't eat that soul sushi. I'll make you some. I'll summon it from the ether. All this really does is, is lessen the financial load on others in the party. And it kind of says like, hey, you know, if we invite the summoner, I don't have to go buy food. So that's kind of nice. Now, the one thing that this does change is I'm sure you've all been in plenty of parties where maybe you didn't want to spend the most money or somebody else in the party is like, I'm sorry, all I could afford were, were squid sushi, not the soul sushi. Well, with a summoner summoning food, that gives the opportunity for us to say like, hey, let's go above and beyond. I'm going to give you all the best food you can possibly use for the situation. And we're just going to go nuts. Yeah, would it be a huge bonus to what they were probably eating before? Probably not, but it's still cool. And let's not forget the summoning food effect would have on the summoner itself. It would kind of allow you to sort of slide into those niche roles that you want to fill in that particular instance. Sort of like I imagine the way Scholar does with, with the light and dark arts. Obviously Scholar takes it to a bit of an extreme, but summoners could summon food for themselves that sort of fit the need of the moment. They're dealing more damage in that fight or that particular party. Summon some pet damage food. If you're focusing on healing, restoration, just supporting the party, maybe something for more MP or MP regeneration, you know, would be more effective. Hell, maybe the summoner's own defense if it's like doing some crazy 
AoE damage. I don't know. The point is you could you could slot in to fill those roles a little bit better just by focusing on different food, which again, you can already do, but you're more likely to do if you can summon that from wherever. Now, theoretically, in my mind, you wouldn't just hop between foods in like two seconds, although that's a cool idea too. I was thinking you'd still like be stuck with that food for 30 minutes. But again, another way for you to kind of niche focus a little bit further. But now let's have a little bit of fun. What if they could summon totally new foods? Foods never before gracing Vanadil. Speaking of which, if I say any of these foods and somebody's like, that is already a food, dude, you're an idiot, let me know. Food has gotten kind of crazy. What if you could summon foods that, that acted like those scholar arts, enhancing a skill such as healing or even something offensive to like naturally that B level, but you could give it to anybody. Say you're fighting something that's weak to piercing damage and you're like a monk, but you could give that monk a B in dagger. That, that's still a terrible decision. I don't know why <laughs> nobody would ever do that, but that's, that's what I'm kind of saying. The weird things that you could open up and try if you could enhance somebody's skill with food that a summoner could provide a unique food up to that like B level, it would open up all sorts of sub jobs. What if you had a, a cool opportunity that required you to do a bunch of magic damage at once, but you don't have any black mages online. You do see a summoner though. Besides the summoner's natural magic damage output, they could give everybody the food that it raises elemental magic skill up to a B and everybody could like sub black mage and just burst on the same big skill chain. I don't know, maybe it would work. Maybe it would be really awesome. I just always kind of wish the, the sub job system expanded a little bit further and this would be kind of a cool way to do it and uniquely tie it to summoner. What about spells for the summoner specifically, giving them access to, to cures or drain and asper and stuff like that that they don't natively get and they need to get from subs, but maybe you think you get a little bit more, they get cure four or five. Then it opens up some opportunities for some support sub jobs while still allowing them to cast the occasional you know cure that they wouldn't have access to maybe with those jobs. Do you need Bahamut for this fight? Better chow down on that Baha nuts. Is he not crucial? Back to the usual stuff you're eating. I mean, look, I know a lot of this stuff is pretty outlandish and obviously a balancing nightmare, but it's kind of cool to think about. And I love the idea of Summoner kind of coming into their own with some unique little thing that is truly special to them. Not that Summoner isn't special in many other ways, but there are a lot of pet jobs that can do some really cool things in Pop S11. Yes, Summoner is one of the few that can just like pop them in and out whenever they want. But what if you brought food into that mix? Now, the downside is it does kind of seem to ruin the lore. I mean, right now you earn a piece of the primal's power by, by fighting these practically gods. And then you can summon these grand powerful avatars that support you in your quest. Apart from that, you're also summoning literal incarnations of the elements in the form of the spirits. And then apparently opening planes, portals to other dimensions to pull out a well-cooked burger? Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. With Siren coming next week, I am curious to see how Summoner changes, if at all. Was this goofy? Is this stupid? Is this the dumbest idea I've ever come up with? Or would it be kind of cool? Doesn't matter, because either way, they're not gonna do it. But I wanna hear your thoughts. Keep on the lookout for more videos like this one coming each week, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, think about subscribing. And if you already have, don't forget to click that little bell next to the sub button to get notified when new videos go live. Hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this video, or come hang out and chat with me on Twitch every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And definitely look me up on Twitter or Instagram and hunt for games to keep up with what else I've got going on. See ya!